It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hello, Todd Salzman here, Whole Latte Love. Today we're going to take a look at cleaning the brew group on the Gajabrera. We're not going to do a total tear down, get into every nook and cranny, but we're going to do a pretty in-depth look at how you can clean this. This is not your basic cleaning like you do every day. This is you want to do maybe every six months or year. Kind of depends on how often you use the machine and how you use it. Oh, so there'll be a lot of variables involved with that. But if you can do this once in a while, it'd be a great thing. Okay, here's the brew group. I assume you know how to pull it out. Just hit the press, pull it out. We're gonna be working on getting coffee out of the nooks and crannies that build up inside of here. This one's not too bad, obviously, but there's all these slides in a, through here and back in here, a lot of coffee builds up. There's some ulcer spots up in there. We're gonna try and get to all that without doing a total tear down. The way, the, the way this the brew group works, you know, the coffee goes down into the chute there, let's see, drops into there, then this slides over, coffee's in there, and that moves, and that moves up into place, and it brews, okay? Water goes through the bottom of the coffee, up here, out to this little hole, to the spouts. So basically, here's what, here's what we're gonna do. First, we wanna remove this top piece here using a T10 on this, Torx. Let's just see the heads of those bulbs. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Pretty heads. Yeah. And if you wanna use the, the old cordless to remove them, okay, but don't use a cordless driver to put them back in. You don't wanna cross thread them or strip them. Those are going just into plastic, right? Exactly. So I always felt, don't use too much force. felt pretty cocky that I could put any screw in without cross-threading it <laughs> until I did. Right. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little something. We've got a little metal ball coming out of this. We don't wanna lose. I need a nice filter batch to put this in. Okay, so now this can come out. It comes out there and then out of here comes a spring and little, I said metal, but I mean glass ball. Okay, be real careful not to lose that. They really like to drop and roll. Okay, first thing we got coming out. Then I'm gonna take this whole top of this brew head off here. If you hold this, kind of like this, there's two little little clips, I guess we'll call them, right there, or four, two on each side there, and one near the back. You gotta push those in, and then, the, then this head will fall down. So get your fingers on like that, push them in, and it drops down, go to the other side. Do there too, and it comes out. Okay, so those are the clips we're talking about. See them? Yeah, point those out. Right there, and right yeah. there. When you're pushing them in. And they're just on the one side? They're both sides, they got them oh, over here too. Okay. okay. And we're gonna to wanna to replace this, uh, or clean this uh, O-ring. If you take it and you push it like that, you can get it right off very easily. And we're gonna take this screen out. Again, we got the T10. Unscrew that, a little shorter screw. Oh, drop and roll, put that in there. Okay, and you will be cleaning this screen, then we'll be cleaning this also. Next step I'd like to do is what I would do is take some Kafisa by your next really nice product. If you have a bin about this size, so big by so big by so big. <laughs> <laughs> so big, you can see how it fits in. Maybe put a cap and a half of this kafitza. That's oh, brand new. Brand new. Nothing but the best. It's kind of like opening when you open up a jar of peanut butter for the first time. Now, what exactly is kafitza? Okay. Um, it, it removes the coffee oils. Okay. It does a really nice job of cleaning those up. It doesn't do doesn't take out all the grease, but you mm -hmm. take two ca a cap full of this and some hot water, dump it in there, maybe a cap and a half, and then dr just drop your brew group right in it and let it sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour. We took these pieces off here because this is where the rubber pieces are. We don't want the rubber in there. Uh, they say it'll damage the rubber, so we we don't recommend so that. So don't put the rubber in. Exactly, like oh. we did on this one. This, <laughs> this is an old nasty brew group we grabbed, just dropped it in here for demonstration purposes only. 
and it did a really good job of cleaning most of it up. Okay, uh, you see, you still got the coffee in these little areas over here, in the back. So what we'll take is a, we'll get a brush, and you can brush that out. Little cafetes on that, brush those out, it cleans it up real good. So just any sort of brush. I mean, you could yeah. use an old toothbrush if you can. Exactly. Get it this is a little things. like a grinder cleaning brush we had. Uh -huh. We use that. And up in these these tracks here, you'll you'll be able to see them when you get it in front of you. You clean those out real good. Then you can anything in here you see. Then you just rinse it out real good. So just basically wherever you see stuff, you just yeah. get it out of there. Yeah, you, you can't miss it. It'll okay. be right there because you'll have better light than we have here. It'll be easier to see in. Right. So do that. Give it a real good rinse. You know, drop this in there also. Um, I wouldn't put this in here. It has some rubber seals in there. We don't want to mess around with that. Uh, but you can rinse this out real good. Or maybe drop it in for a little bit. And then just you know, take just your brush and wipe it out. Okay. Yep. Make sure your ball's clean. That usually is because it's glass. Uh, shower screen. You know, dump that in there too. Okay. And brush how, how long in, in the... Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's usually pretty good. So once you're clean, just put it all back together. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's, let's go over here for a minute. Clean in there real good, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have this apart, we have a good opportunity to put a new group gas, or uh, an O-ring in here. We have this thing, Gaja Service Kit. Mm -hmm. And this has all the little goodies you'll need to take care of your brew group, okay? They have the instruction manuals to tell you some of what we did, but not quite as in-depth. Mm -hmm. And you have your uh, some lube, okay? That's some good loop. <laughs> so basically you'll have a brush. I, mean, I have a clean one. Put some lube on your brush. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get up in the tracks. Okay. Lube up your tracks. This one hasn't been cleaned so there's coffee in there. But you know, when you're doing it, just make sure they're nice and clean. Lube it up real good. You don't have to go extra. Don't You don't have to gob it in there. But... You'll see, just you have enough where you can see it and it's, uh, it'll slide nice and smooth. After that's done, oh, I'm sorry, I keep going, I gotta go back to this again. Clean that out real good, okay? Do that, rinse it, wipe it off. Get a little bit, of, just a touch bit of lube around here. A little bit on your new, your new O-ring. Just a little bit, don't want a lot. Just slide that on like that. Pulls right over. Yep. That helps for any water leaking by or leaking through. And then uh, looks like we're ready to put it back together. Put your screen on. Your T10 on there. Okay. Now with this, you got to make sure you line this up right here. Uh, for, I'm sorry. First, we yeah, we'll drop the ball in later. Um, this only goes on one way. This has to face towards the machine. That's where the water comes out of. So you can put it like that. If that doesn't fit, see it doesn't work quite right. It only goes one way. Flip it around. Now you know you're going the right direction. Okay. Slide underneath. Click it right into place. Glass ball. Glass ball, drop the glass ball in. Put your spring in, skinny end down. And fit this back on. Now at this point, you see that you have it backwards. This will be facing away from the machine. Okay, hold it down into place and put your screw in. Again, just snug. This is where I want my drill. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now to getting it back in, it's possible while you're doing this, this could have moved. Okay. Where it's to put back into the machine, this has to be in its uh, home position, which is all the way up. So it looks like that. Yep. In the home position. Exactly. And then you'll see an arrow there, and an arrow there. So they have to line up. The little tiny arrow on the, okay. Right yep. there in that little. Yep. 
okay? If for some reason you can't get it in, you may have to push on this press. In fact, before you put it in, it's a good idea to press that. That gets it in its ready position also uh, to put it in the machine. And then just lock her in. Again, a little pull just to make sure it's in place. And you're good to go. I would probably make sure you, you let it dry first before you put it in. Uh, I, I prefer to do that. Say if you're grinding, coffee gets around, it'll have more of a tendency to stick to it. That's uh, that's the basic cleaning instructions. Okay, I should say one step above basic cleaning instructions. So that's, that's a deep cleaning. Deep cleaning. Not and a total tear down, but you don't really need that all the time either. And using the Cathiza, and then we also took a look at the uh, service kit there. Oh, yeah. That we have available. Service kit. Okay, there it is. Okay. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.